Okay, we're back for another episode of UFC Main Event Challenge. We had a rough one last week with... I don't even remember. What, what even happened last week? Uh, some heavyweight fight. I don't know. Anyway, Gilbert Burns is taking on Sean Brady. Sean Brady looking very sucked down here. Let's get into the stats. So, we have Gilbert Burns. He has 22 wins, 7 defeats. 178 centimeters tall, 180 centimeters in reach. We compare that to Sean Brady, who is 178 centimeters tall, 184 centimeters in reach. So he has a four centimeter reach advantage and same exact height. Let's go over Gilbert Burns' recent record. So had a great fight against Hamza Chmaev. A lot of people thought he won that fight. Then he arm triangle chokes Neil Magny easily. He beats Jorge Masvidal by decision. That was kind of a surprising fight because... It did seem like he wasn't doing as well as I kind of expected him to do. Then he fights Bilal Muhammad on short notice, gets decision by him, fights Jack Della Maddalena in a fight that I thought he was winning, and he does get knocked out by Jack Della Maddalena in the third round. That was a great fight. Uh, I would recommend going back and rewatching that if you missed it. In his last couple of fights, so he is one, two, three, four. So he's 4-4, four and four, so he's batting 50% after getting to the title. Let's compare that to Sean Brady. Sean Brady has recently beaten Michael Chiesa in a fight that I really didn't think he looked that great in. He kind of just held Chiesa down for 15 minutes. Then he gets TKO'd by Bilal Muhammad, one of the only finishes on Muhammad's record. But that loss is looking better and better now that Bilal Muhammad is the champion. Then he... Beats up Calvin Gastelum, basically winning every single minute of that fight until in round three he submits him with a Kimura. So both of these guys kind of have a similar game plan. Sean Brady's striking isn't that great. Gilbert Burns' striking isn't that great either. Um, their grappling is kind of more where they're both at, where their skill set is. We had Gilbert Burns fighting Hamza Chmaev. Chemayev wasn't really able to grapple with him. Bilal Muhammad wasn't e really able to grapple with him. Uh, and then he was able to outgrapple like the lesser grappler types. But we have seen a pattern from Gilbert from Gilbert Burns where when he's going up against good grapplers, he refuses to grapple them and usually use his his grappling as kind of a defense to their grappling and chooses to fight it out on the feet. I mean, we saw that with Kamara Usman, Hamza Chmaev, Bilal Muhammad. Uh, so that's going to be interesting. I don't think we're going to see Gilbert Burns go for many takedowns against Sean Brady. Sean Brady is just a, a grapple machine. Like, he grapples everyone. His stand-up is fine. It's not very good, but it's getting better. But his grappling, it's where it's at. He has insane control, insane strength, pretty decent submissions as well. He did get TKO'd against Bilal Muhammad, but he did win the first round on the feet against him on all three of the judges' scorecards, so there's that. Um, so that's pretty simple. Like, we have, we kind of have a good idea of these two guys' game plans. I do think that Sean Brady is going to attempt to grapple Gilbert Burns, and I do think he is going to have some degree of success with that. And because of that, I'm going to lean towards Sean Brady. I think their striking is pretty much similar, but I do think that Sean Brady is now the more physical fighter, and I think his grappling is going to match up pretty well against Gilbert Burns. And I think he is going to go to the ground, win rounds off of that. So I'm going to predict Sean Brady by decision. Another reason why I'm leaning towards Sean Brady here is I have been picking... Uh, some uh, some like really old guy fights where it's like the old guy versus the younger person and like the Jared Cannonier versus cracked Costa fight uh we really I do think that if Jared Cannonier was even just five years younger he wins that fight but he slowed down and he wasn't able to take as much damage as his younger opponent this is something that I've noticed where an older fighter going up against a younger fighter almost has to be perfect because he simply cannot take as much damage as his opponent can. And Gilbert Burns has taken a lot of damage in their fights. So I do think that Gilbert Burns is going to be slower than Sean Brady, less physical than Sean Brady in terms of power and aggressiveness. 
And I do think he's going to be more susceptible to Brady's strikes than Brady is going to be to Gilbert Burns' strikes. Burns has a really good game plan, or he has a really good game, but his striking is rudimentary. He just throws these really hard and fast step-in right and left hooks. Um, and if Sean Brady is any kind of reasonable striker, he should be able to avoid that. And I haven't taken a look at the odds. I would predict Sean Brady's at least like a 2-1 to one favorite over Gilbert Burns. Oh, yeah, Sean Brady minus 188. I think that's actually a pretty good value on Sean. I don't really know what Gilbert Burns can do to him. Like, he doesn't have the aggressiveness that Bilal Muhammad has. I mean, we saw Bilal Muhammad beat Sean Brady the way that he beat Gilbert Burns, so I don't think that Burns is going to, like, blow Brady out of the water. I think at the very worst that we see Sean Brady do, he's going to be beating Gilbert Burns in the stand-up for 25 minutes. Um, maybe go for some takedowns that get stuffed, or Gilbert Burns gets back up onto his feet, and Sean Brady's just going to be able to defeat Gilbert Burns that way. And I do know that Gilbert Burns like hurt his arm in the Bala Muhammad fight, but he was not looking good in that fight before he hurt his arm. So I don't think that's much of an excuse there. Anyway, this should be a fun fight. Yep, yeah, official prediction, Sean Brady by decision. Let's see what the odds are for that. Brady by decision plus 145. I mean, that's fine. I do think that it's kind of crazy that... Wait, Gilbert Burns is the favorite? I'm so confused. Here it says Sean Brady is the favorite. I don't know. It's weird. Let me look up the odds. Brady versus Burns odds. Okay, yeah. Brady is the favorite. In my book, he was being weird. Anyway, guys, enjoy the fights. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought of my analysis, and I'll talk to you later.